Hello and welcome. My name is Nick Diego, the lead developer of Blocks. In this short video, I'm going to attempt to answer two questions. What is Blocks and how does it work? Simply put, Blocks allows you to make structural modifications to any Genesis-powered website. Blocks is built specifically for the Genesis framework and will only work on Genesis themes. So what does structural modifications mean? Well, basically it allows you to add content anywhere on your site. Uh, the best way to demonstrate this is with an example. So here you can see that we're on the Blocks website. And as we scroll down the page, at the bottom, there is a footer banner that leads you to the pricing page. And you can see that here. So this whole banner was created using Blocks. Now one quick note before we continue with the example is this little text in the bottom right here. This is specific to this theme. This is added to show users of the site uh, what content is created by Blocks. Uh, it, it, will, it does not show up uh, on content created by the plugin by default. All right, so in this example, what we're gonna do is we're gonna rebuild this footer uh, from scratch. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna hop back into the admin panel and delete this, uh, delete the footer. Okay, so here we are on the back end of the site and you can see that I am currently on the global content blocks page, which is accessible from the blocks menu. Now blocks adds two different types of content blocks, local and global. Local allow you to add blocks directly to pages. And um, if we click here real quick, we can see Local blocks are added via this meta box. You just click add block and then you have the blocks interface. We're gonna head back to global blocks for this demo. And you can see that we have three available here. Now global blocks allow you to add content to multiple pages at once. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna delete the existing footer banner, that's this one here. And then we can refresh the front of the website and we can see that it is in fact gone. So now we want to rebuild that footer from scratch. So we're going to click add new. We're going to type in a title just for our purposes. So remember what it is. Now the first step in the five step process is adding our content. So in that case, it would be the image. So you can have currently by default, there are four different types, raw content, editor content, static image, and slideshow. Editor content is your standard WordPress editor. Static image allows you to add images. Slideshow is for, uh, allows you to add a slideshow. And raw content, which is the default option, allows you to add raw code. It can be anything pretty much, HTMLs, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, or short codes, that sort of thing. But for this, we're gonna use a static image. Now there are other tutorials on the site that will go into more details about all the different options. Uh, so for this, I'm gonna go rather quickly, but feel free to check out other tutorials for a more in-depth view. For this, we're gonna choose custom image. We're gonna select from our media library. We're gonna leave these options the same. Image size is good. We wanna make sure we add a link. We wanna to link to the pricing page. Uh, and now I'm gonna cheat slightly and copy and paste in the image caption, and I wanna make sure the image is set as a background. Again, there are tutorials on the site that go into more detail on those options. Now the next step is position. Now the beauty of blocks is the positioning system where it allows you to add content to any one of the 50 plus Genesis hooks that are available. You also can add your own custom hooks, but that'll leave that for another tutorial. So the one we want is Genesis before footer. Now, depending on your theme, you may need to adjust the priority setting. Uh, for mine, I need to drop it to five. Um, priority determines when the block is added to the page on the specific hook. And there may be other content that is added to the page on this hook. For instance, in my case, there are some footer widgets that are added and we wanna make sure that the block appears before the footer widgets. All right, the next is the location. This determines where on your website, at what pages on your website the block appears on. I wanna choose show on selected, and I want it to show on the front page, I want it to show on post pages. Uh, this is your blog page. 
I wanted to show on search in 404 pages, archives and single. Archives and single both have additional options. I want all archives, but I want selected single pages. So clicking select allows me to drill down. I want all my posts. I want all downloads. I don't want documentation or media. I do want some pages. And so you'll notice as you select these, you get some additional options. So for pages, I want to do selected. And this will give me all the pages on my website. And the indented ones just indicate child pages of the, the page above it. So for me, I want the footer on all our add-on pages. I want it on, let's see here, features, home, plans and pricing, and screenshot. All right, that looks great. Now we're going to move on to visibility. Now visibility in, our, in this case isn't going to play a huge role. We want it to show to everybody, but you could uh, restrict that. Uh, public or private or restrict by user role. And finally is styling. So Blocks comes with very minimal styling, but it does come with a little bit, specifically for image captions, and we want to disable that for this tutorial. And we also want to add a class. So this allows you to target the block with a specific CSS class, perhaps you added some custom CSS in your theme, which is what I did in this case. So this custom class will automatically up, up add some style that I already added to my theme style sheet. All right, this looks great. I'm gonna click Publish. Now we're gonna flip over to the front of the site. I'm gonna click Refresh. And there we go, there's our banner image. Okay, so that was a very quick tutorial on how to add a footer banner to, to your website. Of course, blocks can add all sorts of different types of content. Um, and the best way to see that in action is there's some additional tutorials here. And this plans and pricing page was actually created by blocks, at least the top portion. Uh, it was a local block. And for more information on the features, of the plugin, check out the features page and also the add-ons page. Add-ons are included with the multi-site and developer licenses. And there's currently three add-ons. Uh, the first adds uh, the widgets content type. So you can add widgets as a content. Uh, the next is scheduler. It uh, adds features to the visibility uh, settings. So you can schedule it based on the time of day and date. And then finally is the sandbox that allows you to add some uh, really powerful PHP uh, to really customize your site. So that's the brief overview of Blocks. I hope you enjoyed and thank you for checking out the plugin.